he specializes in promoting events and has worked on the last three World Police and Fire Games. Stephen, what brought the Games to China this year? Well, I'll tell you, it was originally awarded in 2015, and it's the, the wonderful city. Beautiful venues, serves as a great backdrop to about 10,000 athletes. So I would say the, the food as well doesn't, doesn't hurt. Uh, you know, walk us through the history of these games. Uh, how did they first come about, especially when you think of all of the different countries participating in this event? Absolutely. So it started in about 1985. It happens every other year. So Chengdu is actually the 18th iteration of these games. Next one to go to Rotterdam, Netherlands. Then they go to Winnipeg, Canada. So China's really got a great opportunity, and Chengdu in particular, to have a, a great event and, and showcase the city. And has this grown uh, from the very first one? Talk about uh, all the different countries involved, the different agencies involved. How big is it now? Oh, it's, it's very big. So with 10,000 athletes, you know, you think of uh, operating over 20 different venues on the same day. You've got different sports from CrossFit to flag football to even Dragon Boat. Uh, and then there's an expo, which over 200 uh, police and fire equipment organizations come together to showcase what they have to the world. So we say they're the games. Describe some of the uh, things that, they're, that are taking place. We see some video right there of all the different events. It doesn't really just show off the skills. It's, it's also a learning experience. Would you say, I mean, what do these teams take from each other? It is. It's a lot of bonding. You know, certainly at our Athletes Village, they'll compare stories, exchange gifts. And at the end of the day, it really... Um, lets them kind of relax after you know protecting those and, and going through a tough occupation. So, really, is a great time for everybody to enjoy themselves as well. And do they win medals? I mean, they do a gold, silver, bronze. You know, they do, and uh, they're very proud of it. A lot of these folks have been coming from games for many years, so a lot of familiar faces. And Chengdu has been a great host. Talk to us about the uh, relationships that are built from all the different people. You mentioned that. Uh, a lot of participants have been going for years. I mean, I'm sure there is uh, a lot of friendship and diplomacy involved, meeting people from all over the world. Yeah, absolutely, and it lets them kind of let loose. And as much as they have fun and enjoy, they get pretty in, uh, competitive on the court as well, especially basketball and some of these other competitions. So um, really gives them an opportunity to enjoy each other, meet some friends, uh, make some new ones, and it's great for our first responders. What do you think is the best event of this whole thing? Well, I'll tell you, CrossFit's a lot of fun, too, because it compares so many different disciplines. That and Ultimate Firefighter, uh, they do a bunch of stair race, so it's a, a pretty fun event. But within China, I think Dragon Boat would be pretty fun, too. Stephen Trakerka, thank you so much for joining us. You're Very, very fun event indeed.